guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ryan from Mama's Got a Budget, and thank you so much for finding me. So, in today's video, we are going to do kind of a mini mid month check in, is what I decided to call it. Y'all like the names I come up with stuff like when I'm in the shower because that's where that came from. I was in the shower, I'm like, I should do an update, I shouldn't just jump into the whole next paycheck stuff or envelope stuffing because they kind of need the backstory. I'm all about the background details and I, you know, I don't just want to like, okay, yeah, forget it last week, but here's this week, here's what's happening, this is the new, like, I don't want to do that. So, <coughs> I want to come back and give you guys an update. Now, these updates will consist of any little, like, sprinkle of announcements I may have and then I'm going to show you, like, what bills I paid from the last, um, video that you saw and what I have left in my cash envelopes. Now my sinking fund envelopes are going to stay the same. Those will only be updated, I mean, I'll only give you guys an update on those. Like if something happens and I need to use the funds that are in there or when I'm doing the cash stuffing envelope video, I'll be like, okay, so last month we added this, this time we're adding this, this is the balance. And then plus I have like those little, um, those inserts in the envelopes as well so you'll you'll get to see it but um that was kind of like a long explanation as to why you're here like sorry just read the title <laughs> so I also wanted to give you guys um uh, remember I said like a sprinkle of a few announcements let me make sure I'm like am I in focus um a few announcements so I wanted to thank you guys so much so much for everything. For your love on my first three or four, how many videos have I posted so far? Just like three or four videos um, on the budget topic. A lot of you guys are so sweet saying that you, you're excited for my journey. You're on the same journey as me. Um, you're also a single mom. You're also in your 30s. You're also starting your budget. 2019 is going to be a big year of change for you. Um, why do you only get a small coffee? <laughs> like, all of this stuff, all the comments have been so sweet, and I couldn't ask for anything more. So thank you, thank you so much. I was pretty nervous about uploading, but now I can safely say I'm glad I did. We have more than doubled our numbers from last month as far as subscribers, so welcome to everybody. Like, I have to do something special for you guys, like, just to say thank you, I feel like. Um, so yeah, welcome to all the new people. Thank you for everyone who's leaving comments and engaging, following me on Instagram, and joining the Facebook group. I know the Facebook group is kind of lacking right now, but trust me, um, we'll get there. We'll get there. I got some big plans in store for Facebook. Also, to everyone who has purchased or, you know, said nice things about my actual envelope. So I do have a form in the description box of every video of where you can order um, the cash envelopes that I make. So I've gotten about 10 orders so far, and I really didn't expect it. Like, I know 10 is, like, a small number, but when there are 10 orders of five envelopes each, like, that's one a big surprise to me and a lot of work but it's like something that I didn't expect so thank you guys so much so I want to come on here and show you guys how um, some of the envelopes look once they're printed off I haven't folded and laminated and labeled any of these yet but I want to show you guys so we're gonna hop over to this camera so here is the floral I don't know why I keep burping oh my god I'm so gross so here is the floral set. I think this is set number six. And I have three of these going out, so I'll just show you one of each. And you can see how crazy vibrant these colors are. These are what they look like when I just cut them on the silhouette. So, of course, they don't come folded like this. Like, so I pick the papers. I print the, um, I pick the digital papers myself. I print them myself at home so they're just on a flat piece of paper and then I cut them out with the silhouette and so this is how they look before they're folded but you can just see how vibrant the colors are like this is like a rich rich floral of course I had to show the floral one first like hello like can you guys see that it's so pretty so I have three sets of those going on this has been my most popular print so far I did add two more um, oh, they're under there. Let me show you guys. Um, and this is like the, I think this is set number nine. This is kind of like a geometric rose gold type 
very neutral but still very popping like this print right here though it, i'm not gonna lie it makes me dizzy because i when i look at it really fast but once it's folded it's not that bad but i wanted to have something to um offset the dark colors in here so i chose these two light ones aren't they so pretty i love those and we have what we have i have some new sets available as well so we have this i think this is set number 10 oh, i'm gonna toss it out of the floor really quick this is set number 10 and it's kind of like a wintry floral well it's not like floral not all floral but it's like a wintry vibe so i love the cool tone blues and grays and pinks in here really really pretty and then we have an entire set of leopard print there's like different leopard prints that are super colorful and they have like little specks of faux glitter in them i've been like kind of into navy blue lately so that's where that came from and then this is a set that was already in the shop but i had them printed anyway so i just thought i'd show you so i'm trying not to go too crazy with the sets you know i'm trying to leave them pretty neutral pretty anytime friendly but if you want me to bang out some um christmas ones for next for next year or for when you're saving for christmas girl let me know so yeah these are the sets that i'm super excited about so i'll be working hard this weekend on all these videos and all these envelope orders for you guys thank you so much just want to show you those and i'm announcing something new um just like we have the envelope form i'm also going to open up an insert form that is now linked down below so that you can personalize your planner the way like kind of inspired by the way that i do my budget planning i'm going to be adding new inserts as we go of course as i think of new things and and stuff like that but i just want to let you know it's down below right now i think i have five or six inserts different inserts but i have all the planner sizes from tns to rings to disc bound like i got them all so i want to tell you guys about that i don't have any anything crazy to show you from it right now but i do have pictures listed on the description no listed on the form with the link in the description whatever Ooh. okay so that's enough for the little high ha okay so that's enough with the little housekeeping things i want to show you the real purpose of this video is to do our first mini mid-month check-in so let's get into it december we're talking about december what are we doing december 1st through the 14th today is december 15th so we're talking we're just gonna get right into it we're gonna talk about it so since my last video i have paid all the bills that were outlined let's zoom in let's zoom in the right way hmm. i don't want to get too close okay so since the last video i've paid all the bills that i said i was going to do i did american express the car wash paid his um after school care credit card bills rent and money to savings Patreon, Netflix, Verizon, and Hulu all came out. And these are some stickers that I'm that I'm testing out right here to do like little check marks instead of box, instead of hearts. So that I was just putting down stickers. So ignore those. But I paid all those bills. And as you can see, the first half of December or the first half of the month was really heavy for me bill wise. And then it trickles off down here. So I'm looking forward to being down here and not having to pay as many bills. So that depleted um my accounts pretty quickly um everything let's see I'm trying to see yeah everything on here is automated nothing from here none i don't have to pay any of my bills like the old-fashioned way of course i go online and i pay everything so it but as i was doing it it was depleting my saving i mean my my account so fast but i got it all done we came out alive 
So Patreon came out for 8, Netflix came out for 12, Hulu came out for 13, 12, 13, um, and Verizon, we all know my grape with Verizon, I paid that as well. Excuse that, that box in the background, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's some shelf my mom ordered, I don't know, so, I know it's not the prettiest, but we gotta make do. So yeah. That's everything that I paid since my last video. Let's look at what I have left in my cash envelope. So, as many of you know, oh, I didn't get through the, my background story. I'm so sorry. So, <laughs> I'm Ryan. I'm a single mom. I'm 31. I have one son. I live at home with my mom. I work heavily in finance every day. I actually just, we had our, um, our Christmas party yesterday, which is which is a, a nice like lull in it, but I just know on Monday it's right back into it. Um, so I work heavily in finance. I went to school for finance and accounting. It's my passion. Numbers are my passion. Um, so I was doing all that. I majored in it in school. Was working in it every day, but I wasn't applying it to my day to day life. Day to day life. So that's how Mama's Got a Budget was born. I was like, I need to do something. I'm giving all these people advice about their investments, their four hundred one k, what's trending. I'm analyzing reports and doing all this. Up, giving my friends and family advice but here I am not practicing what I preach so 2019 was gonna be a big year for me it still is um, but I decided to start early I was gonna start in January and I said no we're gonna start now we're gonna do it so December 1st we started this mama's got a budget and we've been going strong using only cash I haven't swiped my credit card since um, November 29th and that's a big deal that's a big deal for me. I was so swipe happy, but now, just after these first two weeks even, I see a big difference in everything that I was spending and how it's easy to go without, in a so in a sense, um, and how that need turns into a want, turns into a, I can live without it real quick. So, this is my journey here on my channel that, you know, we're... I'm checking in with you guys, like, for example, right now, to be held accountable. I needed some type of accountability to go along with my budgeting. So we're attempting a zero-based cash budget every paycheck. I get paid every two weeks, the 15th and the last day of the month. So every two weeks, we're just going to use what we have to pay down what we need and use only cash. So if that is something that you're interested, please stick around. Sorry I didn't say that at the beginning of the video, but whatever. I'll do it in the next one. So these are my cash envelopes. So this is the wallet that I got. It's from Filofax. It's a wallet and it has rings in it for inserts or in this case cash envelopes. Um, then we got our little change portion over here. The thing with the cards. I still don't put my cards in there. Um, I have my other wallet right here, which I need to put my cards in here, honestly, because I'm tired of carrying around, let's see, I'm tired of carrying around, like, all, like, two separate wallets, I'm trying to say. I'm tired of carrying around two separate wallets because I went to the grocery store and I wanted to get wine. Okay, I took in my budget envelope, envelopes, and I was like, okay, yeah, I'm good. I get to the register, they're like, do you have your ID for the wine? I'm just like, oh, it's in the car. Blah. So I'm going to work really hard to wean myself off of having this wallet with the cards and just be 100% in this wallet. So this wallet is from Filofax, which is from Amazon. I have a link down below. It's not an affiliate link or anything. I can't even get that to work with Amazon. So if you want to check it out or purchase it, go right ahead. So these are my cash envelopes. And these are different from sinking fund envelopes because these are what I keep in my purse and that can be touched at any time. So we have beauty and hair. We started off with 15. We got 15 left. We still got the 15. I didn't go um, and get my son's haircut yet. That's coming up this week. I wanted it closer to Christmas, of course, so he'll look nice like for pictures or whatever. So we started off with 15. We still got the 15 in there. For clothes and shoes, we started off with four, and we still got the four in there. Didn't touch that. Couldn't do much with that. This was kind of like the remainder from my last video where I attempted to do the math. Coffee. We started with $45. 
two weeks ago, and we are down to womp womp. So that is a big fat zero. I completely depleted my entire coffee fund, and it's kind of sad. If you want to see like how my last couple dollars went out of this envelope, check out my vlog. That's the last video. I'll leave a link down below. It it was crazy. Like I was down to the wire. But I think I made it work. Dining out. We started off with 35. This is my dining out envelope. And let's see what we have. Womp womp. We got zero. So I had $6 left in it yesterday. And I decided to go to Wendy's after work and get a faux faux faux. So I had, no I had $6. Yeah I had $6 left in here. Went to Wendy's, got the 4 for 4 And... I made them, instead of the regular fries, I made them baconated fries. That cost an extra 75 cents. But that still only came to a total of 5.23. So I hit the nail on the head with 35. I think I'm going to up it though. <laughs> I was hungry this week. Gas, we started with $45. And we have $3 left. I only had to fill up one time. I got the receipt in here still. I had to fill up one time for $45 but then I went back because my tank was actually full and I got three dollars and some change back I was like hello so we're gonna leave that in there groceries we started off with 75 and I was like that's enough we're cool we got one dollar left so I guess that was enough we were cool <laughs> so groceries I made work this week by completely going to Aldi. I rarely, rarely, ra like I can count on one hand in my life how many times I've been to Aldi, like actually been inside. And I went twice the past two weeks alone because I was like, no, I have to stick to this budget. So we made it work. That's also in the vlog about my trip to Aldi and making a dinner out of, how much did I have left? $5.50? Oh, I went to Target. I made a dinner work from Target for $5.50. So, yeah, that's in the vlog, too. Me Time. Now, Me Time used to be in, um, be a sinking fund, but I decided, I was like, no, I'm gonna, hold on. But I decided, no, I'm gonna move it over to cash, um, my cash envelope system because I'm gonna need that. Like, that's why I do my mani petties and whatever, and that's pretty much every two weeks because I like to get my nails done. So I moved it over here. We started with 25 in here and womp womp we have zero so I went to go get my nails filled and that's where that $25 went real quick so I think I'm gonna up that planning and crafting we started with zero we have zero toys and entertainment we started with five and we got five still got five left didn't go anywhere this weekend toiletries we started with 25 and we still have the 25 left Cool. Spending, we started with zero. And we ended with zero. So yeah, I didn't do any crazy spending or whatever. This check, like I just I just didn't feel the need to. So this envelope looks different because it's made out of vellum. I do have this option as well if you don't want any prints or whatever and you just want something chic, minimal, you can get the vellum ones too. So all in all, it looks like... We got 15 plus 4 is 19, 0, 0, plus 3 is 22, plus 1 is 23, 0, 0, 23 plus 5 is 28, 28 plus, that's 48, 53, 53 left. When we get to toiletries, yeah. So we still have fifty-three dollars left to work with in all these um, envelopes for next time. So that was my mini month check-in. If you guys want to know anything else, I think I'm gonna do a bigger update, like a more rounded out, um, like what I succeeded in, what I struggled in, and all that stuff. What what am I gonna change for next month? I'm gonna do that once I 
do my January cash stuffing, like right before I do my January cash stuffing, we'll look back on the previous month of December and go more into depth. But for right now, that's what we have left. I think we did pretty good for our first time around. Um, I was really proud of myself. So if you guys want to see how I stuff my cash envelopes, so if you guys want to see how I stuff these envelopes with the check that I got yesterday, then stay tuned. That's going to be my next video. Um, yeah, you guys seem to like that. So show me some love on that video. We're going to be working with, I think, $695. So yeah, go check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for joining me on my budget journey. It has been real and you guys are making it so much more fun by just like having a group of, I can say a group of girls because um, I looked at my analytics the other day and we're 100% female, so let go. So it feels good to have a group of girls behind me who are rooting me on, or doing this themselves, or both. So thank you so much again. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and yeah, that's it. Bye! <laughs>